The ball is in the air, and it's going to be won by Sock Center. Thiessen will get it down. Kelsey Peschel has it to Thiessen. A long three is up and good. Well, this time it took six seconds to score. The other night it took eight. So a three is in for Mason Thiessen, and Sock Center takes a quick three to nothing start. And Sock Center will get the ball back with a two point lead at nine to seven. Their biggest lead so far has been six. Well, St. Cloud Cathedral staying in that man-to-man -man defense. They played zone the whole night against Russ City, but matching up man-to-man. -man. Thiessen for three again. Good again! Wow, from long distance for Mason Thiessen. She is three for three. A good shooter passing in. They get it way back out to Metalberg, their guard. Here's an intercepted pass, though. Tori Peschel got in the passing lane. She's coming down on Metalberg. Spins to the basket and scores! What a move by Tori Peschel. The defender was right on her, so she spun away quickly and banked it in. The winner plays at the state tournament. Tori Peschel goes up, and her shot goes in. There was some contact on the play, but Tori Peschel strong enough to get to the basket on the backdoor cut, and Sox Center now has their biggest lead at 20 to 10. Anna Dahman is in for the first time. She's the senior out of the Dahmans. 20 to 11, Sox Center. Kelsey Peschel for three, up and good! A three-point basket for Kelsey Peschel. Looking down low for Januska, can't get it to her as Michaela Dahman guards her. Now she has it, tries to move in on Michaela Dahman, will shoot, got blocked, and Michaela Dahman got it away. That's her specialty now, blocking those shots at 6-1. Here comes Schmeezing, back in a hurry, off to the side, Hannah Dahman waiting, goes up and puts it in! So Michaela Dahman a block, Schmeezing fast break, the pass in the basket to Hannah Dahman. Good sequence there for Sox Center. 25 to 11, Sox Center leads. Mason Thiessen just hits another three from the corner on the inbounds pass play. That's her fourth. And Mason Thiessen now has 14 points. Four threes in the first half for Mason Thiessen. Here's a drive by Lewis, no good. Rebounded by Julie Dahman. Sox Center got a stop and they get the ball back, leading 28 to 11. So Thiessen connects again. She swings it to Schmeezing. She's gonna try a three. It's up and good for Kinsley Schmeezing. The three is in for Schmeezing. That's her first basket. Now three players have connected on the three, and now St. Clark Cathedral will stop play with a timeout because Sox Center has opened up with a 20-point lead now at 31-11. to 11. Ahead. Tomczyk is driving down, runs into Michaela Dahman. The shot is missed, and Julie Dahman has the rebound. Outlet pass up ahead to Thiessen. Driving down one on two, pulls up with a shot, and puts it in. Wow, she is so good at that shot. The defense backs up, thinking she's going to go all the way to the basket. Instead, she just pulls up from 15 feet out and puts it right in. Not a lot of players can do that, but Mason Thiessen can. She has 16 points. 33 to 11, Sox Center. on the outside. She'll shoot from the outside. Off the front rim, no good. The rebound came down to Schmeezing. Sox Center has the basketball. Schmeezing on the dribble, hard. Down to the right side, back out to Julie Dahman. Thiessen is open for a three, puts it in again. Mason Thiessen has five threes, and she's got 19 points. Nine to 18, Sox Center, they pass in. Schmeezing has it, back to Thiessen, look down low, can't find it. Now here's Kelsey Peschel with a three, up and good. And Sox Center gets the ball back, leading 42 to 18 as we start the second half. Sox Center to our left now. Mason Thiessen backs it out. Kelsey Peschel will shoot again, up and good again. Another three for Kelsey Peschel. She's starting to heat up now. That's her third in the game. And she now has 11 points. So two players in double figures. Thiessen has 19. 45 to 20. Sox center by 25. Streeters now go to an easy score here for Julia Dahman. They penetrated down on the right side. Julia was open. That's her first basket. She has four points. So it's 51 to 22, Sox center. Mason Thiessen, a senior guard, into the front court, drives around to the right side, throws a pass to Julie Dahman, back out to Klopp Hockey. She'll take a runner and scores. <laughs> Megan Klopp Hockey is very good at that shot. At 5'5", five, five, she gets just close enough before the bigs come in on her, then just floats it up over the outstretched hands and puts it in. Rebounded, though, by Schoenaker for St. Cloud Cathedral. Now they're going to put up a shot, and it's off. Schoenaker at 6'4", got the rebound, turns and shoots and misses. And she gets the ball again, but then take it away by Zemer for Sox Center. 35 seconds left. 
down low. Kapinski makes it, can't shoot over the 6'4 girl, but now Meyer will shoot and score! A three-point basket for Mac Meyer. Big hoop for Mac Meyer, a senior. That gets a rise out of the Sox Center crowd. Can't shoot yet. We're down to five seconds. Now the ball is loose. Picked up by Cathedral. They pass down low. Meyer steals it to close out the basketball game. And the win goes to the Sox Center girls basketball team. And they will go to the state tournament. They will play Wednesday. The final score, Sox Center 63 and St. Cloud Cathedral 40. And now the champions of Section 6AA. The Sox Center Main Speeders, 30 and 0 on the season. And they will head off to the state tournament. They will play Wednesday night.